little trip at Pine Flat. Just gonna do fun. Just gonna show me the yak. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Surprise! There's two yeah. marinas. There's that's the normal one, and there's that marina. Hunter, here. Sit. Sit. Stay. 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 The female was one that Uncle Hood got, and one that Rocky got. Sit. Stay. 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 This one is over 100 pounds, right? 120 pounds. kayaks their drive don't don't move like this because this one's a 360 you can you can like turn on a dime like a trolling motor and you can sit still and you can just turn if you want to go that way this is for your rudder that's for your rudder this is for your 360. Your 360 you can turn this motor you'll see it but uh you want to pedal out there first and then these are your lines for your for your uh see this, this. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to drop this in the water. So the bonus always want to this handle straight. That's for your 360. That's for this straight. All it does is it just drops straight in. And make sure you're always leashed. This thing is like fucking fifteen hundred dollars dude. Okay. Right. So then once it goes in, it just clips in like that. So when you want to come out, you just pull on that. Pull this clip. Uh -huh. Go straight up. Okay. So this is your rudder. Rudder, you just do this. Drop it. It drops down. And you got to drop your skig too. The, the skig is to help it track straight. And then this is for the transducer. If you want to drop it for like to have like down image, side image, so don't even worry about that because you ain't got none of that shit yet. And like I said, this is for your rudder control. And then this is for your 360 control. You see how it turns that arrow? Yeah. See. So on this one, when you're in the boat, you never want to turn that without like giving it a little bit of stroke. You'll see what I'm talking about. If you're still and you're just trying to turn it, it's really hard. Okay, so when you do that, you, you stress, there's a belt in here, so you stress the belt. So what you want to do is before you turn that, just give it like a little pedal, like a little sweep like this only, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'll turn it and you'll see it'll be, a, it'll be a lot easier to turn. But I normally, when I turn, I never even use the 360. I just use, I just use the rudder. Because then unless you need to turn like right now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then boom, you can turn the 360 and it'll just go boom straight that way, right away. But... You go a lot shallow again. Yeah, you can go straight like that, and then oh, keep the fucking both the fence flat like this. Then you come pretty shallow. So. Oh, right now it's flat. Yeah. Well, I'm sure what I mean. yeah Cause so when it's straight, but when you do this, it goes oh, like that. Yeah. So like for instance, if you're super shallow, you can do this, and you could just do this. And it's just like a little paddle like that, and so it'll flutter. Oh. And if you do hit anything, these will break away. So they won't break, so they won't actually like crack. They'll fall down like this. Oh. That's what they call the kick up. Just clip them back in place. Oh yeah, get it. 
get in. And at this, once you get in, you adjust this. Press this. You see the numbers? Uh huh. Oh, that's for uh, for your feet. So when you okay. fully stretch out, if you're fully stretched and you're fucking like hitting the max out, then you're you're uh, you can adjust this. Like right now, it's on like the lowest setting right now. So hopefully your your feet will reach. <laughs> and so what's good about this PA two is that it has fully adjust. You can sit pretty high. So if you want to sit up, you can pull your chair back, pull this kickstand right here, or uh, do that. Make sure it's always clipped. This seat is fucking hell expensive, dude. And then you can adjust this. This is for the, lock, the back support. Push forward. And then drop it like that. It'll go back. This will be for this. That. So like in a lake, I like to sit in a higher position. It's more comfortable. But it is less stable. But for the lake, you're totally fine. So get on it. Get help. You stay warm. Ugh. So, watch. Just put your feet in there and then pedal and then try to use this and the other one's the same thing. This side and the other side, same thing. Same thing? Oh, the yeah, top. Okay. Those two. The only, the only other one is you see the top one. Yeah. That's that, for the 360. So when you turn the 360, you pedal. It's just gonna go in that direction, huh? Watch. I'll try the 360 right now. Watch. Pedal and then turn the 360. Keep pedaling. See how it can turn like right here on the dime? Yeah. Watch, turn, huh? it, turn that back straight. Right? And then use, okay, just go and then use the rudder now. The, the bottom one. It, it turns slower. But because it turns on the back. Yeah. See that? But then you can use two of them to conjunction to each other. Watch, if you snap that rudder all the way to one side and turn the 360 the other way, you can do some weird stuff. Like, hella fast and shit, huh? <laughs> And it, it reacts right away too. Oh, that's shit. Yeah. So you can go backwards. You can just lift the fence backwards. Turn that to the backwards. Oh, backwards. Does it feel like you're hitting the stop? You mean right here? Yeah. You see that? Pull, pull that thing to number two. It feels like I'm like next to trees and shit, you know? Oh. Hey, I, I thought... I thought you can move it side to side too, no? Yeah, you can. You can? How do you do that? You gotta do it at an So Tony, so when you guys come back in, you guys don't pull this out at all? Yep, we, I do. You do? Or if I don't, then I just come in like flat like that to the land. Oh. And then I have to push it back out to take it out. Oh. It's gonna flutter a little bit to get it close. What do you mean? Well, you part don't to hit it in the ground. <laughs> oh, my chest.
Dude, it's, it's pretty fun, dude. Go check out how to do it. It's cool once you get it fully set up. Um, I gotta find these plugs for you. These are the plugs that I had. There's some garments that goes in there. And that was for my fish finder power, power cable. So I have a little slot for it, but I have to find those slots for you. I have a uh, I have a fish finder that's gonna be coming off of my other yak now. I'll give it to you. But the one that I took off of this one is my uh, super expensive one. So. Dude, I, you don't know how much I spent on this fucking yak, man. <laughs> this deck was a, uh, it was a brand new model, right? Yeah, this is brand new. This is 2020. 2020, you bought it in 2020. And... Yeah, I, got, I got it in 2020. I got it in the middle. Okay. Take Hunter to go play with you up there. Just be careful, okay? Might be snake. Yeah, I got it in like uh, middle of 2020. And uh, I got it brand new. And then uh, I think I took it out to the salt like three times. And then you took it when you guys went on that um, down south trip. Nope, they want to take this one. Oh, they want to take it? It's too, it says too heavy. Mm. Well, it's not too heavy, but they said that because it's too big. They have to carry it up, huh? They have to o carry over it the head? all the over the head and put it on top of the rack. So uh -huh. they said no. Which was kind of dumb because the owl bag is only 10 pounds, it's only 15 pounds heavier. Uh, lighter. So, so this is just for the size then. They don't want to deal with the size. Mm -hmm. You feel like you size roomy. Yeah. Come on, I'm telling you. Watch, when you got an owl bag, you're not going to like it no more. You're going to be like, dude, you feel so crowded inside. You don't have room to move around. Like on the owl bag, you're literally like just sitting and fishing. That's it. So. Sit. 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 On her set. The only bad thing about this one is it don't paddle work for shit. It don't what? It don't paddle work for shit. What do you mean? Like with the oars. Like a paddle on it, you cut the water going with the oars. Oh. Has this ever flipped? Yeah, you'll flip it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you'll flip it for sure. But I mean, it, it takes quite a bit of effort to flip. Yeah. This is fun as driving my Miata so low. Right now, if you're talking about right now, this is the Cadillac. Because if you're talking about price wise, it's the most, it's the most expensive uh, Kaya you can buy right now. Okay. It's 4500 right? This one? Yeah. Oh, this one's six thousand dollars. Six thousand? Like six grand, bro. God damn. It's like fifty. Right now, I think it's like fifty. Uh, I think it's like fifty-six hundred right now. <laughs> Dang, oh, why are you selling it, then, man? Uh, I don't need it, bro. I'll see. I I don't want to. But we can put the it. Huh? And, and since like you said, since like you said, you plan to do mostly salt only? The thing is, my fresh water is, I mostly do with my kids. So mm -hmm. I cannot do this with my kids. Mm -hmm. I even have the dual 
for my wife because the dual is a two-seater mm -hmm. and then so my main purpose was see i was riding this one and had eight in the back and then i got the outback for max and then the dual was for uh, casey and fool but they could never go but then what's on the hood they all give up already oh you see what i mean so it's like this i spend fucking two three hours loading up and then we ride for fucking 10 minutes so i was like man this one's hella nice, but man, I'll see if I have the room. I would. I would just keep it. I, I don't know. I see. You know what I need, man? I need a headrest, man. It's like a lazy fish or lazy fall asleep, they, man. Dude, they sell hella accessories, dude. They do? Okay. <laughs> Never up. Uh. So, like, all these, these holes are your rod storage right here. Oh, okay. So you come back, you hook them up up there. You can up for six. Go in there because you know how the Albex. That's why you always it, see the Albex. It, it came trying. like that. It came with those. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is factory. Oh. So it's not like all the fast curls fishermen. They use all this. The three. Uh, the P three sixties. That's all they use. And then on inside here, I never used this. But you oh, can that's for tackle boxes. It comes with you can put two tackle boxes of the panel 3600. Uh -huh. I never used this. I took this out when I had it. I put a fucking or you could put a liner in here, and it's like a deep box. And it so looks I like put, it's perfect for your battery pack. <laughs> no, nah, dude. If you want to put a battery, put a battery back there. Back there. To go underneath. So then the battery back there, or they sell the battery kit. It's a kit, uh, or they sell a bracket too. This is a badass ice chest. They sell a battery kit, you can mount it here, and it goes right here. Dude, you, this thing got hella room, you can stuff shit everywhere, dude. And the good thing about mm. this, you can actually walk up here and get this shit. That's good, man. Oh, Albex, come on, I got to get slash long. Got like a reach you told on to get your shit. So this is actually like an ice chest? This is ice yeah. chest. It's a, it's a light wheel. God damn. No, that, this is for my food when I go camping in class. I took everything. Ah, dude. You like it, dude. It's beautiful, man. Hey, you're dirtying all Uncle's kayak. Look. Look at your feet. Got it strapped up. Two phones showing me the ropes. This is my new toy. 